Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. It's good now. It's good now. So guys, here's the Meta Spets intro. <laughs> devs right now guys okay so i will show you the introduction of meta spets for you to be aware at least and we will ask the ceo later Okay guys, so here is the CEO of Metaspects. Welcome to my channel, sir. So, uh, could you please introduce yourself and the Metaspects project? Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here today. So, my name is Tom. I'm the founder of Wise Balance mm -hmm. and the project Metaspect. Right. So, Metaspect is a turn-based idol RPG uh, in a magical post-apocalyptic Word. Um, so these pets will be uh, your companions and guardians, and together you guys will venture into a fantasy world. Uh, the game is very simple enough for everyone, but complex enough for you know uh, those wanting to spend more time exploring to earn greater rewards. Right, right. So uh, could you please tell us why Meta's Pets was founded? Mm, why it was founded? Yeah, why well, was it founded? Yeah, you are, as you are all aware, you know, of the current problems going on in the market right now. So, as a game, as a game five players, mm -hmm. like many of you, mm -hmm. we have invested and played many game five projects. Mm -hmm. So we know how many communities, how communities feel about the ongoing issues. Right, right. So that's why, as a development team, we felt that we had the power to create a good project and do the right thing here. Right, right. So, uh, for my third so, question, sir, uh, could you tell us more about the background and experience of your core team and also the advisors? Because we know team is very important when it comes to the game itself. So, please go. Oh, absolutely. The mm -hmm. team is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, let's talk about myself first. Okay. So, I have uh, over nine years of experience mm -hmm. in the gaming industry and over, over seven years living and working in the U.S. Wow. Our project manager, uh, Logan, and mm -hmm. CMO, Jenny, also have extensive experience working with big companies like Giant and NHN, Wacom, you know, and others. Mm -hmm. So, our advisors, Victor, Karuk, Kabakaran, Schofield, are veterans in the cryptocurrency investment and business. So, our game promises to bring a well-balanced economy advised by, you know, experienced crypto and economic professionals right and lessons from the past okay so uh what are the use cases of meta spets can you share more about the tokenomics so we will be aware our audience will be aware about it well uh for to uh, tokenomics right uh we have only one private round no seed to keep it fair for our partners and it is also more easily managed Mm -hmm. So we have uh, only eight percent for our private private round. So right. you can see here we don't we're not asking for a lot of money uh, mm -hmm. in terms of fundraising. So we release six percent at TGE and cliff this round for two months. This means our user will be worry free playing the game for three months. Mm -hmm. But 
after the cliff, you know, there will be 5% uh, release for private round, plus the low amount of money we raised will present no si significant impact to the charge. Wow. So That's cool. our IDO is only also 1%, so that, you know, also create a low impact as well. 1%. So we keep fundraising as low as possible mm -hmm. to protect our user values. Mm -hmm. uh, so play for play to earn uh, is only uh, it's actually 40%. Mm -hmm. And for marketing, it's ten percent. For tokens that we uh, we're not using, we will we'll put them in a public wallet so that everyone can keep track of to make sure uh, there is transparency and trust. Mm -hmm. So our reserve uh, thirty percent locked for nine months, right? And our core team uh, will be locked for twelve months. Mm -hmm. For future locks, we will support. Uh, sorry, I mean like. Uh, for future unlocks, the the unlocks will support us in many other plans, such as you know future updates, mm -hmm. yeah, you know developments, metaverse, and so on. Yes. Okay. So uh, you said about marketing. That's right, because ten percent is the perfect uh, allocation for marketing, and it's very important to attract new players and investors as well to your game. And also the private sale that uh, that's good, and also the play to earn rewards is good for the community which is very important. So, can you tell us more about the gameplay? Because we want to know about the gameplay. Like, how can players earn valuable price from playing Meta's Pets? Well, yes. Uh, Meta's Pets is a turn-based at RPG, right? So, the gameplay is right. very simple. Simple on the surface for everyone, but it's also rich and complex enough for gamers who want to explore deeper. Mm -hmm. So, first, you use tokens to buy eggs, which uh, each egg will give you like random a random pet. Right. So we have over sixty pets with uh, you know like we have four main fashions for the pets and two special ones. Uh, where uh, the pets also have different rarities. Mm -hmm. So rarities will decide the speed of return on investment. Uh, they also have classes, mm -hmm. gifted traits, and other regular stats. You know like health, damage, magic resistance, and so on. Wow. That's so cool. you can. Technically, start with one pet in the game uh, to begin uh, to join hunting quest. But uh, you know, um, we actually prefer that you have four pets. Four pets. Well, the entry in this game is quite affordable and friendly to everyone. We want this game to be, you know, uh, a, a project for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but if you if you can have a, a team of four pets, you can maximize your earnings in the game. So. Once you have the the team, you know, your team ready for battles, you know you can join the hunting quest, you know PVE, to fight, win, and earn. So it's also worth mentioning that each pet has a unique design and set of animations. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, you know, they can express their emotions based right. on how you treat them. Right. So there is also pet care. You can interact with them. You can feed them. And play with your pets to increase affection points. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if this point, uh, if these points are increased, then you earn a little bit more after you winning after winning battles. Mm -hmm. So, later on, we also have new updates coming uh, very close after the official release. You know, like pet upgrade, leaderboard, you know, boss raise, PvP, uh, and so on. As you upgrade your pet stronger and understand how to mix a strong formation for your pets. You can participate in these events and gain the potential to earn many bigger, bigger rewards and prizes. Wow! So there will also be guild, guild wars, you know, uh, lands, mobile versions, new pets, you know, pet care activities, metaverse, and so on. So uh, we have tons of fun feature, mm. engaging, uh, you know, updates coming at each milestone to keep the game fresh for our community. Right. So uh, regarding the the system, the guilds as well. So you're planning to make it multiplayer, right? As well or no? Yes. Okay. Uh, you, you mean multiplayer, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yes. Wow. That would be multiplayer. That's cool because uh, most people want to play with their friends and uh, they want to invite others because uh, a lot of players wants to enjoy with their friends so that's a good thing to consider and sir what what are your biggest achievements uh meta's pets 
team has made so far like what are your next goals visions for the company in this game well, those are, you know biggest achievements i have to say that uh, i'm very proud of my team mm-hmm. uh, they are very hard working um, so what we do is that we don't sell ideas on paper we have a high quality demo with right. beautiful graphics you know engaging gameplay before before ideal So not a lot of game can do this right now. Uh, okay. We want to prove our product capability first mm-hmm. to our community. So we focus more on products and communities than you know more than raising funds or you know mass marketing. Um, Medaspets will be a good project with good good solution for our, our users. Right. You know because of this mentality, uh, we have acquired uh, really good partners who believe in our visions and mission, and they have been working very. To bring sales to our community, mm-hmm. so with our robust economic structure, you know, new each, new updates at each milestone, mm-hmm. the aspects will have enough engaging features for our users and fans in many months and years to come. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, like uh, you're saying, like uh, you have a lot of goals and vision that you presented a while ago, but. Uh, what separates Metaspets to other NFT games that uh, other people will join to you, sir? Like, uh, they, oh, they, they see Metaspets, I will join here. What what makes you stand out? Uh, what what are your features, the benefits, or what do you want to discuss to the audience? Well, uh, I would say that uh, Metaspets uh, focus on solving past solutions, uh, sorry, past problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have, you know, fancy full promises. We don't promise you anything, you know, right too far away. And we focus on the product mm-hmm. first and foremost. We focus on our communities. Mm-hmm. So we don't run a lot of ads. We we talk to communities. To you know, we give the community our, uh, our alpha tests. Mm-hmm. So right now we we do have uh, alpha whitelist. So we encourage you to join this, or uh, you know, event. And next week you will have. A chance to get to get your hands on our demo, right. so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, that's our advantage over other games, uh, and I, I would say that very few games can do this right now. Uh, they don't even have you know anything playable yet. Right. But the next important thing I want to talk about is uh, the the level, um, the, the amount of fund we raise for our game. Mm-hmm. So before we start this project, we spend our own money on creating this demo for five months. Mm-hmm. And we we didn't spend any uh, we didn't ask for money to do this we we spend our own money, and we ask when we actually have to ask for money, we ask for a very low amount. We do this to protect our users because our user would have we not have to face a huge withdrawal withdrawal waste from our VCs later on. Mm-hmm. So our token um, for our economy, uh, we have professionals from you know. Uh, economy, I mean economics, uh, from cryptocurrency business and investment to advise us on how to create a long-term economy for our game. Right. So uh, every asset, every to- uh, like token and NFT user have in the game uh, will be uh, valuable. We have purpose to use. Um, so it's kind of difficult to get in inflated uh, for to face inflation in mm-hmm. this economy. Mm-hmm. So so that's our achievement. Yes. Okay. And uh, differences in that's amazing. Game. That's amazing that uh, you invested it yourself. You use your own money. It just means you believe in Meta Spencer. You believe that it will work for not just short term but long term. So uh, for for the next uh, session, sir, uh, we will do the live chat. But before that, uh, we will watch this short video first. So okay? just to show you. The pets, okay, the pets NFTs. So let's watch it, guys. No, I want to show you right now. Okay. Okay. So now it's the time that you're waiting for, guys. Okay. So we will be having. A giveaway and the giveaway is like this: the best question wins, guys. Best question wins, and guys, the total prize pool is one hundred dollars, guys. So it will be divided 
to the winners guys so there will be five lucky winners guys so uh the ceo will be choosing the question okay you just ask right now if you can ask right now in the live chat okay so the ceo will uh choose the best questions and you will win so you can now choose sir uh with the live chat all right uh sorry i'm, I'm uh looking at the live chat right now yeah yeah, yeah. You don't need to repeat your questions, guys. Uh, uh, so it will be organized. You can just send one question and he will be answering. Okay, uh, he will choose so to avoid flooding as well. Okay. okay, give me one more second. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, there are a lot of questions right now, so you don't need, don't flood, guys. Don't flood, don't flood the, the chat box, please. So the questions will be more organized. No need to send 10 times the same message. Okay, so for the first question, okay, so one of the serious problems with P2E games is that as a result of their success, players have flooded the market with an oversupply of tokens, causing their value to drop. So what plans do you have to prevent the price of Meta's pets from plummeting for similar reasons, sir? Um, thank you. I have a... Uh, some technical problem on my end yeah, so yeah. thank you for yeah, choosing I found out, I found out uh, you're having a hard time to check the question so I just chose for you sir yeah yeah okay go on go on alright thank you uh, sorry can you repeat that question again uh, so what, what what is your plan sir because uh, there are a lot of serious problems regarding play to earn games right that their tokens is oversupply meaning in the long term, their value drops. So, what is your plan to make the game sustainable, the token sustainable for the long term? Oh, what that, that is a very good question. Right, right. I think that the, that question uh, it asked a lot by you know uh, many people that I have talked to, and uh, I also follow up with many communities. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of games come out and they they allow people to earn a lot of tokens, and later on uh, the tokens become became inflated. There is an old saying, you know, easy come, easy go, right? <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So if you can earn something so easily, so fast, then um, it would, would not be, you know, any long term at all. So to solve these problems, we we introduce a proven successful formula from three following, following principles, mm -hmm. you know, like time, you know, effort and thinking. So our economy is based on, you know, reward, econ economic fair trades, mm -hmm. uh, we feature a balanced cycle of production and consu consumption. It means like mint and burn NFTs and tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, this method would happen naturally in the gameplay activities. So to explain it further, I, I would like to say that thinking, you know, uh, I mean, like think of, you know, game fight as a country. Each nation has a single national currency, right? Mm -hmm. And that can be why, why do we have only one currency, one token? 
it is more easily managed. And if a government relies on only one source of reward, which is the national treasury, the treasury, then that country will collapse very fast. Right, right. As a result, a steady and long-term economy must encourage encourage trade, production, and consumption. Mm-hmm. So, uh, every asset people hold will have value mm-hmm. because uh, there will always be purpose to use in the game. Right, right. So, uh, uh, I mean, like I know that I, I said a lot of you know economic uh, knowledge, but the, the game is still very simple to play and earn. But if you spend more time, effort, and thinking. And become an active part in this well well rounded economy, you will receive bigger rewards. Mm-hmm. All right. And I believe that uh, by following you know um, the real the real world examples of the economy, then our tokens will maintain steady values, and you know have a long term effects for our users. Right. Uh, actually, that's a nice plan. Uh, as you said that, uh, in order to make the token sustainable for the long term you need to have a plan and decisive decision which uh, was incorporated a while ago you said the detailed plan so right now sir uh, can you choose the questions next questions so uh, that you think are the best so is your internet connection good ready or okay i found this on the web for it Please just do the next question for me. Okay, okay, I'll just I'll just read it for you. I'll just read it for you. So, no real company has yet been able to develop their game platform to the metaverse. So, what makes Meta Pets outweigh than other games to develop its project? How will players experience Meta's Pets, uh, the metaverse experience, and what stage metaverse development currently in? So, basically, the question is, when will we the players enjoy the metaverse experience in meta spets just to summarize the question that was presented by the audience thank you so much yeah yeah well um for well, metaverse is a very subtle uh, topic right mm-hmm. a lot of people want metaverse but uh, i want to be honest with you right now mm-hmm. do our game have does our game have metaverse yes but will be anytime soon well i have to say this and we right now focus on having a functional product before even if before ideal right so we concentrate more on proving our ability to the community mm-hmm. and less on asking for idea on paper right right so we don't we don't give fanciful promises we consider our community is the backbone of every uh, I'm sorry of, uh, of our project so that is why the alpha test will mm-hmm. prove our capability and help us collect valuable feedback from our users. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now we focus on the importance of keeping a long, long-term economy. Right, right. So if we can, if we can deliver a product that people need, a product that people can trust in us, then we'll be ready to introduce Metaverse. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, that's a nice answer about. Uh, uh, regarding the metaverse no uh, i do believe that before you start implementing something you must be prepared for it first because most games they started introducing metaverse already but they are not prepared about it so it it will not help the game for the long term so for the next question uh this another audience so security is a very important concern for community so is your game safe for the community to par- participate in what are some of the security measures you've taken to protect users from any security related risk? Are your contract open source? Have you received any audit reports? Because very important is certic audit. So what is your response? Well, security is yes. I agree with uh, the question that mm-hmm. uh, uh, thank you for the question. Right. right um, okay. I have to say that our server system developers have over seven years of experience. Mm-hmm. Of course, are optimized and you know be able to handle a large amount of users, mm-hmm. you know, entering our game at once. But let's talk more about security. So, as a lot of people enter the games, right? Well, the security measure has to be taken very seriously because it's money related. Um, 
our our admin tools we have admin tools that will alert us if an account is doing any suspicious activities mm -hmm. you know such as uh, withdrawing a huge amount of tokens um, that came from hacking right and if any illegal attempts will be checked and stopped before they have a chance to happen you know our primary our primary concern is the protection of our user assets and um, it's also important for a quality project to accompany by you know like good partners mm -hmm. very chance very chance is our audit partner they have a strong reputation in uh, the industry and we provide you know Medespet a great support ensuring transparency, you know, reliability and trust. Right, right. We will, we will publicize our smart contracts when they are ready. You can go on our website and check them out right now. Wow, okay. So guys, you make sure you check the website uh, for you to check the audits, the con smart contracts which was said, okay? So the next question is now that the idea of Meta's pets is getting closer, how can we join or participate in the IDO? Which launchpads are you looking to have your IDO? Will there be any kind of white listing, or we only need to stake some tokens? Where can, where or how can we get more news on that? That's a nice question. Yes, yeah, so um, it's good because uh, our IDO is uh, coming up at the end of this month, mm -hmm. so it's very close, right? Um, for the launch. Uh, a launch pad, uh, we have uh, one launch pad only. Right. Game five. Mm -hmm. But you can actually, uh, you know, participate in our IDO for, um, on two platform. Mm -hmm. The first pa platform is game five. Game right. five is our uh, one of, you know, I mean like game five is one of the top tier launch packs. Right. And uh, you have to follow their requirement mm -hmm. in order to join our IDO on their site. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to join, uh, join our IDO on our own marketplace, you can do activities, you know, on our whitelist and add your con contribution to our game to get our uh, IDO slots. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can buy on two platforms. Wow, uh, because uh, I, I do believe that by uh, having one platform only for IDO is not the best idea because some don't know how to use it or there are a lot of issues involved if one doesn't go right so i think having two ideal platforms is the best way to go and uh do you have any plans to attract non-crypto investors to join your project because the success of a project attracts more investors who haven't yet entered the crypto world what are the plans to raise awareness regarding your project well that's a very interesting question mm -hmm. um um, I understand that this is a game fire, right? So game right. finance. But uh, before Metaspects, we work with uh, the PC platform mm -hmm. and create. We created high quality games for gamers, so we understand what traditional gamers need. Mm -hmm. So Metaspects does introduce a complex enough system that gamers can explore and master. Mm -hmm. You know, um, of course, the game is still simple enough for the general public. Right. To join, to play, and earn. But the more you can master our game, the bigger rewards and prizes you will receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's those are the best questions, guys. You are amazing. For those who answered those, uh, those are the best questions. Those are the winners. And guys, uh, there's another question from Leo Butlega. Uh, this is a great question, so I just want to add it. Uh, I am a crypto investor and I only care about the prospect of a crypto that I choose. Tell me the reason why should I choose Meta's pets over the other games. Um, he said he's a crypto investor? Yeah, yeah. He's a crypto investor and he wants to know why he should invest in your NFTs in your token over other games. Right. So, uh, as I stated in previous questions, mm -hmm. um, I would, I would like to say that our economy, our robust economy, is the reason why you should invest. Mm -hmm. Because different from other games, they uh, other games rely on one source of reward mm -hmm. to give users, right? So the tokens. So when the, uh, the reward pool depleted, mm -hmm. then nothing to give out anymore and uh, or the tokens uh, are giving out too much and become inflated. Right. In our game, in our economy, we have a steady and natural cycle of 
production and consumption of NFTs and tokens. So make sure that nothing is, uh, you know, excessive mm -hmm. or inflated. Right. So our token values uh, will be very steady mm -hmm. because we, we aim for long term, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, so let, let me state it very more clearly. Right, sure, sure. In order for a value not to be inflated, mm -hmm. you have to make it like a pro like a product it has yeah. you have to produce it and mm -hmm. you have to consume it you have to consume it mm -hmm. so it's a steady cycle mm -hmm. um, if if a crypto investor just invests in our game or I mean like in our tokens mm -hmm. then that investor will be benefit will, be, will receive benefits from you know as this steady Mm -hmm. uh, values of the tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, other games will have tokens value at you know zero point zero zero something, but our game would be very different because of this robust economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we close this AMA, I just want to add this another question from the audience because it's just so good. So what is the burning mechanism of Meta's pets and uh, how do you prevent the lag? Because no players want the lag on games. Uh, so. Uh, did you talk about your team about the lag and so that's two questions first burning mechanism second uh, how do you prevent the lag because this is just so important for just not just the audience right now but the future viewers of this ama they want to know about this yeah so. but lag <laughs> yeah i understand that uh, yeah. um, a lot of other games in the past uh, yeah. had very weak server system right, and right. it caused lags you know the disconnection and I understand it's very annoying mm -hmm. and sometimes it can uh, make people lose trust mm -hmm. in, a, in a project. Mm -hmm. So as I stated before, um, we have, I mean like our server system developers have seven years of experience. Mm -hmm. They have done large scale system uh, that can handle like a huge number of users entering a project at once. Wow. And not just about handling not just about handling number, a large number of users, but also security as well. Mm -hmm. So, bec uh, I cannot, you know, bore you with you know technical uh, terms or coding. Right. But I can assure you that our server system can handle hundreds, thousands of users, um, and it's, and the game can still offer you a very smooth experience. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be no disconnection. Um, one more bonus answer for you. Mm -hmm. Aside from our server system development, we also have uh, our blockchain teams, uh, also very exper experienced with uh, this chain. Mm -hmm. So uh, they can optimize their coding to offer our user a smoother experience uh, with anything blockchain related. So our server system is strong. Our blockchain, uh, our blockchain system is very experienced, so our users can have a great experience as, as well in our game. Mm -hmm. That's nice, sir. Uh, you introduced. You said that uh, there are a team that will handle the coding and stuff. We won't get into the further details, but all our questions are answered. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate your giveaway for choosing. Uh, we want to thank you, sir, for choosing the five best questions uh, i want to thank you sir the team the team of meta spets for uh, being here for us and guys what are you waiting for check meta spets right now join the social medias okay uh, if you're interested of course your money is your choice uh, you are still the one who will be deciding you should always do your own research to any nft projects but guys if you want to join you can join now on their social media channels and we have here once again the CEO of Metaspets. Thanks for coming here in, I, in our AMA. Thank you guys for watching this. Dandro the Capital Master, your number one NFT coach. And have a nice day, guys. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you. And uh, you guys have a good day, okay?